Now, Jason, we have, of course, seen a lot of sort of top of the town, mm. very large scale yep. fixtures from Roby recently with things like the BMFL wash beam and, mm. and so on. This is the Viva from Roby and it sits not quite at the extreme other end of the spectrum, mm. but um, certainly at a different different part of town. Yeah, very much, very, very different. Um, this is a 270 watt uh, white LED fixture, so like way, way smaller than uh, than the larger end of uh, Roby's range. And way smaller power consumption. Yeah, um, this is one of the main uh, advantages of this unit. They're claiming very low power consumption indeed. Now, it's got a lot of efficiencies going on. So at, uh, this has got a zoom range of uh, eight degrees to 40 degrees, mm -hmm. and uh, eight degrees, five meters, we've got just over 30,000 lux. Cool. Which is uh, pretty impressive. Now, it's also got a lot less going on than the, the massive you know, fi fixtures we've seen like this. So we've got two colour wheels, mm -hmm. uh, uh, we've got a fixed and a rotating gobo, yep. and we've got prism, iris and frost. Yep. Yeah. And it does what it does, you know, it's, it's going after easy to create simple effects that look great in the air or you know, projected onto a cycle or something like mm. that. And I think with, um, you know, when, when your selection is sort of defined in such a way as it is in this fixture, it's quite easy to call up some good looks, you know, mm. even if you just pick a random colour and a random wheel. And of course, you know, with the colour wheels, you can do split colours, as you yep. see here. You've got one wheel with very saturated colours, one wheel with pastels. Within the gobos, uh, one rotating wheel, as you mentioned, mm. and uh, one wheel which is a stamped mm. wheel. So you can rotate the wheel, but you can't rotate the gobos itself within the wheel. And that stamped wheel is becoming more popular. Mm. Um, interestingly, we've got the uh, motion stability system, which we've yeah. seen on the much yeah. yeah on the much other end of, mm. of the Roby um, range we've seen those on the BMFL um, look I, I think this is a, a cute little fixture yeah and uh, interestingly they're, they're claiming that the 20,000 hour life for the LED source won't need relamping for the life of the fixture yeah that's an interesting point because we've uh, customarily sort of grown used to seeing 50,000 hours as mm. a spec for, for LED sources or, you know, 70% output at 50,000 yeah. hours. And I think the reality is, if you look at it, I sat down and did the calculation, I think it's 3.14 years mm. um, is 20,000 hours, assuming you have it running all the time. Yep. Like you don't turn it off for Christmas or yeah, anything. That's highly unlikely. Yeah, yeah. Um, no one's going to do that. You know, maybe short of a gallery or something like that. Mm. Uh, more realistic is maybe eight hours a day, like mm. in a nightclub or something. Mm -hmm. Assuming again you're running it every single night, mm. um, that gets you a bit over nine years, and that's longer than the lifespan of an LED product. Yeah. You know, this is going to be just because of the nature of how fast LED is changing, mm. uh, this and every other fixture today is going to be obsolete before nine years. Yeah, absolutely. And I think with that and the, and the power efficiencies they're claiming, I think you're going to very much get money back anyway. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, look, I like the crispness of the GoBo projection. I think they look great in the air or, you know, projected onto something. I think it's easy to change between them. And, it, you know, what it does, it does well. Yeah, agreed.